Okay. You know what? I'm going to I'm going to say this on the internet because UPS is the worst shipping company on the planet. Like they are absolutely incompetent. <laughs> Welcome to Blind Man Outdoors. I'm Dave, and I've been exploring my whole life, from my hometown in the Blind Man River Valley to the jungles of South America. Four years ago, I left an old life behind to chase a passion full time. Now, I built Canada's Yucapac Camper and the Alberta Outdoor Adventure Expo, all while continuing to explore and experience the great outdoors. You see, I believe we're called to live free and be wild. And if you do too, then this is the place for you. All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Uh, if this is your first time here, you got a lot catching up on to do. And that's good, because there's a lot of videos to choose from. Today, we are barreling down on a deadline that we have never had before. Um, and now, we're waiting on gas struts. So Tyler had to leave his business, come to our shop, wait for UPS, because UPS sucks, by the way. Um, they don't go at, they don't go even a quarter mile more than they need to. Um, they delivered to our shop and said that we weren't there, even though our bay door was open. So all they really had to do was stick their head into the only open bay door um, to see if we were who we said we were. And we would have had our parts on time, but we don't. And I literally just got a text message from Tyler saying that the UPS gas struts showed up. Just happened now. So we've got gas struts now. Uh, now we gotta go get mechanism, install the mechanism, lift the top, install the gas struts, function test the top, put the lockouts on, hang canvas. I need a break. I need to take a break after this. What's up, brother? How are you? Oh, I'm living. I need an energy drink, though. Uh, yep. Alright guys, uh, it's now 12.43 and we've got our gas struts planted, which is exactly where we want to be. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to attach the bottom edge of our gas struts. So on a Yucapac camper, the gas struts are hidden within the, within the top. Um, we've got a lot of winter, snow, grime and ice up here. And uh, when I was doing the design, I just figured, you know what, we have the room, let's build it so that the, uh, the gas struts sit inside the shelf. The, the, this camper has to install on a Monday, and that's uh, Monday, so tomorrow's Friday, today's Friday. So Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we got three days to finish this, and this is a brand new top that we're offering. So this is the first time you could pack has ever put out a full top. And big shout out to Cam and Sarah, who are willing to test our new full pot uh, for us. They're taking the first one. The one thing that we're considering here, guys, is moving our manufacturing out of the province. Um, I have found as an entrepreneur that the skill level that I need to build the product and the business at the same time, as well as contributing to Expo, 
um, is, it's beyond me. It's just, it's beyond me to do it properly. Um, it takes some drastic changes to, uh, to accommodate a drastic idea. And so that's what we're doing. So stay tuned. We're not going to go into too much detail right now. We are talking with the, the manufacturer that's going to be handling that. Simple cost of manufacturing. I'm not willing to skimp out on quality. And uh, it's just, I can't manufacture them fast enough with the resources that I have. So the result of that being, um, well, the result being that it might, uh, it might not be able to be made in Alberta. It will still be made in Canada. But if that doesn't work, well, then we may have actually run the end of our story here with Yucapac. And that would be sad, but at the same time, I have had nothing but amazing experiences doing what I've been doing for the past five years. And so I'm gonna kind of put my faith in the Almighty. But if you think I'm quitting, if you think I'm giving up, you ain't heard about me, you ain't heard about me because it's, it's 12.40, it's one o'clock in the morning, bitches. So this is where all of your maths, all of, your, all of the time you spent in CAD software, designing, um, function testing in CAD and all that really comes into play. What should happen here is once these gas struts are fitted perfectly, I'm going to disconnect the hinge or the winch from the, from the crane. That thing will stand on its own. I will be able to pull it down. The mechanism should activate and uh, keep the top coming down perfectly straight down. So wish me luck guys, we're gonna get back at it. I literally just watched this cat poke its head up from underneath. He literally, he literally climbed the ladder. He climbed the ladder to get up there. What are you doing, cat? What are you doing? Mm. That's pretty dang hard to close. So we've got uh, we got one weekday to make this work. Hot damn! The fact that the camper top opens and closes as well as it does is really good. We're 33 inches, we're square all the way around. Me mechanism is functioning perfectly well. The gas struts are just too strong. So all we need to do is overnight us some uh, new gas struts. I think I'll send that email tonight before I leave the shop. I might not even leave the shop. I might just be sleeping right up there tonight. Maybe even have a cuddle buddy, just for the record. I remain undefeated. Can't stop me. Oh, all right, guys. What a crazy night. We've got some problems to solve tomorrow. But I think if we get after them early enough, we should have the time that we need. Anyway, um, thanks for um, pulling an all-nighter with me. See you guys in the morning. Well, I mean, it is the morning. It's now almost three. Three to four, four to five, five to six, six to seven. Let's get a four hour power nap.
All right, guys. It's Saturday. And uh, we don't have much left to do. But what we are going to do is we're going to run into Red Deer, Edmonton, sorry. It's about an hour and a half away, hour away. We're going to pick up our new gas struts. We're going to swap out those gas struts. And we're going to pull the canvas down from this side. We're going to adjust that lifting mechanism. Um, and then we're going to come back and take a list. Take our list, see what we got left here. I'm going to throw dead bolts in. We're going to reconnect the Deutsch connectors. We're going to detail the unit. Uh, we're going to install the push and pull bar for the front. Uh, we're going to put the pull straps on for the back. We're going to reposition the top, put the bungee on, and then do our final adjustments on this camper. Um, what else do we got to do? Oh, we also need to seal and anchor the canvas after. So we'll seal and anchor the canvas, and uh, then we'll be done. This one is coming really close to the wire. I don't think we've ever had a unit be so close in... Uh, a short amount of time <clears throat> but we'll throw in some of the missing rivets in here because uh we wanted to wait till the top was on to make sure we, we were <clears throat> copacetic and last but not least we'll put the mattresses back in and then we're going to function test if everything's tickety boo then we're good for monday uh if not there's absolutely no time for redos on anything uh so this is how it's going we're going to put the latches on anchor the canvas and it's going to go I'm pretty confident we've got less canvas than a full pop, but we have the same cavity size minus a little bit because of the flat mounted hinges. Um, but outside of that, this should sit real nice. Put the, put the latches on. We've got our bed seal and our canopy clamps ready to go. Uh, we've got our pull strap ready to go. So we are looking good, but right now we're going to buzz up to Edmonton, grab our gas struts, buzz back, put them on and get this done. As I'm driving up, I am crossing my fingers and praying that UPS doesn't drop the ball on this like they do every time. However, unfortunately, in the back of my mind, I am nervous. And it turns out I had right to be nervous. I had a 1.30 guarantee delivery time to Edmonton. It was being shipped through UPS to UPS by UPS. So you would think there shouldn't be any problems. Okay, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to say this on the internet because UPS. UPS is the worst shipping company on the planet. Like they are absolutely incompetent. We overnight shipped a set of gas struts to this location, to the UPS store that I am currently at right now. I've got a tracking number that says my v and I have a guarantee. I have a 130 guarantee. I got here at 1:50 p.m. There is no package here. The tracking number says that it's going to be here and the store is open until three. So it's open for another 50 minutes, five zero. My tracking number says that the driver attempted to deliver the package here, but that the store was closed and I am here. I am at the store and it is not closed. I drove an hour because they wouldn't deliver express to my area. So I, I, I had a one thirty guarantee that the package would be here where I'm currently leaving at 1.30. I get here at 1.50 and I get a notification on my phone that says, hey, we attempted to deliver your package to the store, but the store was closed. Not realizing that I'm sitting at the store and it's not closed. So as far as I'm concerned, UPS is a garbage company and you should avoid them like the plague. They don't have your interest at heart as a customer. They don't care. As a matter of fact, they don't care so much that if you have a package that you need, and you've paid their ridiculous price for expedited shipping and they don't get it to you, they don't even they don't even actually care. They're not even gonna do anything to help you. So now I gotta figure out something else to do. Unreal. Unreal. UPS, man. I will never use them. I hate UPS. Well, on my way back, I did know that Tyler had made time this weekend to come in and test fit a canvas, uh, the first full pop canvas that we ever made. And so he's actually in the shop right now as I'm pulling in, uh, getting that test fit up. Now, these canvases are 100% made right here in town. They're actually made by Tyler's other company, Carriage Upholstery, 
here in town. Here you can see we're just lining up the panels to make sure our seams are gonna sit exactly where we want them. So a Yucapac camper, guys, really is 100% made in Canada. Our canvas is made here, it's sewn here, the mattresses are made here, the insulation panels are made here, and they are all made by hand. So the Yucapac camper is very much a, uh, a, a whole bespoke build for each customer. All right, guys, we've had a buzz, a buzzy day, a buzzy day. Uh, check it out. We've got uh, insulation kit installed. We've got our bug nuts installed. We've got the rear door hung. We've got the mechanisms powder coated and installed. We've got the gas struts installed. We have function tested this lid. What we think is happening is, is as we're pulling that top down, those struts are so damn strong that it's causing that, that lid to kind of walk and it's not coming down nice and straight so by switching those gas struts out we should be okay but we've got our canvas here and now we're going to throw the canvas on <clears throat> and this is the first time we've done this with this top so we'll see how it goes it's probably going to look a little silly we'll probably have to put it over the top um but yeah you'll see what that looks like Tell you what, folks. I have never been out done by one of my designs yet. It might have happened. I might have been overzealous with the poundage of the gas struts, thinking that so long as I overbuild everything else, that it would work. But it won't work because we use the full stroke of the gas strut at 40 inches, which means that even when it's closed, it constantly wants to push up and you can't pull them down enough. They're just too strong. So I need to put lighter gas struts on there. We attempted to do that today, but unfortunately the services that we paid for didn't bear fruit and I know everybody out there I know for a fact everybody out there is also getting real tired of their money being abused and not going as far as it used to and not just that but the services the quality of work that we see out there right now not us as business I mean us as people us as consumers the quality of the services that we're being charged for is trash. And it's not just UPS, man. We're seeing it everywhere. And it's really starting to get to me because I'm going to toot my horn here, which I don't do often, but I build a premium product. I build a superior quality product. That is getting increasingly harder and harder to do when I keep being charged for premium quality services and premium quality products and having them not be what I'm paying for. And I am doing my hardest and darndest to make sure that that doesn't happen within my own business. But I may have been outdone. All right, guys. It is uh, 8 p.m. on Sunday. And we are 99% of the way ready. Tomorrow morning, we will contact UPS in the most Canadian way possible, which just basically means without losing my cool, we will find the gas struts that we need and we will get them on. This is not how we do things here. 
This is not how we do things here. So I simply ask that you guys don't judge me too hard on letting a camper leave here that normally I would rebook for re install. <clears throat> That's not doable this time around. So we're kind of left to do what we got to do. But I will reiterate, this is not how we do things here. There we go. Campers in, pull straps and handles are where they need to be. Mechanisms are locked. It's stuff like this. It's moments like this that this that I don't share on this channel very often. Um, but this is the truth of it. Sometimes this happens. Sometimes you bust your ass and you stay up until God, God knows how many nights and how many days. <clears throat> and, and, and you can do it all and sometimes it still doesn't work. That's literally the entrepreneur's <clears throat> calling card. Really. When you're in it and you're really in it, it's not romantic. You have a lot of days like this. And despite working hard and as diligently as you can, sometimes you miss things. And sometimes you miss things or make mistakes. And then other people in parts of your business make mistakes. And they just kind of pile on top of each other. Ah, oh, all right, guys. Um, I'd really hate to leave the video on a cliffhanger like this. It just seems cheap, but... I think I've just filmed too much content. As much as I hope for a miracle, I don't think I'm going to get one. And so I think we're going to leave it here. And hopefully, hopefully, the next time you guys see a video will be very soon after this one. And this will actually already be in BC and be enjoyed by Cam and Sarah. And this will all just be a bad memory. But yeah. I was hoping to end this one on a high note, guys, but you do know the deal. Live free. Be wild. And we'll see you on the next one.